Welcome back to Full Circle Florida. Artificial intelligence is either a job killer or it's your new best friend, but apparently it is not your personal assistant, at least not yet. Here's my conversation with the CEO of IT company Aleda, Matt Rosen. So Fortune just recently put out this article on artificial intelligence with the headline, uh, bosses want to use AI to boost productivity, but 77% of employees say it just creates more work. Now, if you buy into the positive buzz on AI, it's supposed to be the answer, uh, the answer to making our lives easier. If you buy into the negative spin, uh, it's going to replace us and replace our jobs. What is the reality that you're seeing right now uh, with AI in the American workplace? Yes, so I run a technology consulting firm um, that traditionally had done a lot of management, a lot of strategy work, a lot of product design, a lot of custom dev, and a lot of data. And we have very quickly pivoted to help our clients understand where AI fits and incorporate AI into how we work and into our offerings. And so we've kind of got a front row seat to what's going on here. And the way I look at it today, AI is not coming for, you, for your job, uh, but someone using AI is coming for your job. I think of AI and I think you project this 30, 40, 50 years out, that we're all essentially going to turn into our own managers uh, and using AI essentially to delegate things, but that we're going to be overseeing it. A am I wrong about that? That's the way I see it. And I think that's happening, it will happen in the next couple of years. We think of, they call it AI, a co-pilot. I'm trying to think of it more as a co-worker that you assign things to that you don't want to do, but there is a learning curve to it. And there's a lot of different models out there. And I think for a lot of these organizations, I would venture to bet that they have not given clear direction on the AI models that should be in use. There's probably some uncertainty from employees of is the data and things they upload to that AI going to be secure or not? So they're probably worried about company privacy and security. And then in addition, you know, what I'm not seeing a lot of organizations do is set benchmarks and expectations of where that productivity should come from. The internet was a work in progress. The personal computer was a work in progress. I bet when it first came out, uh, you know, that people thought, well, instead of having to like download something or save something onto a floppy disk, I can just use the typewriter and it'll type it out faster. But then you kind of learn to go with the wave of technology. Um, how can companies train their employees to use AI in a productive way? Organizations really need to take charge in setting clear goals of what they expect from employee productivity um, and clear you know, business cases of what they intend to achieve, communicate that clearly, and then train people appropriately so they can take uh, most advantage of the technology and work into their daily workflows. Matt Rosen, CEO of Aleta, thank you for your insight. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching us here on Full Circle Florida. We'll see you again here next week.